Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can highlight an entire form in order to focus the user's attention on that form and ignore whatever's in the background. And the way we actually do that is to dim or completely hide the background. And it's a simple effect that I use in many of my applications. For example, my attention seeking app, idledogs.co.uk attention seek. And I'm also using it in one of my more recent forms, which is the move reside selected columns in continuous form app and that's going to be the subject of a separate video soon. In order to do this there's some fairly complicated code in the background but actually using it is easy. We just need one line of code in the form that we want to highlight in its load event and that is to load the form dimmer, FRM dimmer, and then run a procedure called do dim and then we run that with the current form me staying active in the foreground and that will dim the background. This uses a background form FRM dimmer and it alters the opacity of the background making it dimmer. The current form must be a pop-up so it's above the application window and unaffected by changes to it. So therefore that's not affected, it appears brighter and it grabs the user's attention. The only thing we need to really worry about is the value of the opacity. We can change it anywhere between naught, which has no effect whatsoever, so there's no point using the code if you do that, and 100, which is a total blackout. I'll show you the effect of varying that later. When we unload the form, we want to reverse the effect, so therefore we tell the FRM dimmer to undim, which means that the background is restored on close. Because of the effect of FRM dimmer, we do not want users to open it by mistake on its own. So we use code to prevent that happening. So we use code to prevent form dimmer being opened independently in order to avoid any unwanted side effects. Let's have a look at the example app. Now, this is a fairly complicated continuous form that I'm going to be demonstrating in a future video. So I shall ignore the main functionality of this, but just to say that we want users to focus on this form here. And so we're this pop-up form then appears above the application window and we're dimming the background when that opens. Close that everything's back to normal. Second form, exactly the same effect here. The settings form here, close it, back to normal. So that's basically it. So let's have a look at how the code works on this. Before we look at the code itself, let's try and open the dimmer form. Now when we click on it in the navigation pane, if users have access to that, then this message appears designed to be used in conjunction with other forms, can't be opened directly from the navigation pane, and when we close that, that's gone. We cannot open that on its own. So let's have a look at the code involved. Let's start with the dimmer form itself. So on the form open event of the dimmer form, if the current object that is open in the application is the same as if the form itself, FRM dimmer, then this message appears saying you just can't open this on its own. It cancels the action and it closes the form open event, which effectively means the form closes. Done. We cannot open it on its own. Now let's go to the application tips app, which is one of my two pop-up forms I showed you. And lots of code here, which is irrelevant to this, but let's just have a look at the form load event then. And so as it loads then, we load the dimmer form and we run the action do dim me. And when we unload it, we do the opposite. We tell the form dimmer to undim itself. Let's go back to here. Let's go to the actions here. Do dim. It changes the opacity of the background of the application window to whatever we've set it to. The undim effect does the opposite just closes the form which automatically removes the opacity issue. Now the only thing as I mentioned we need to actually consider is what value of opacity do we want. And that's up in the declaration section. I've set it at 80 but it can be anywhere between 0 and 100. So if I change that from 80 to 100 and save that, let's just close this form here 
and now let's open the application tips and we've got a complete blackout if we do it the same with the settings form exactly the same complete blackout if we have the main form open and do this now exactly the same issue there now you may find that perfect for your needs you may prefer to slightly alter that if we change that to 50 let me just show you the effect now now that's reducing the opacity which means that more will show and now you can see the effect of that then is just a lower opacity so therefore the background is more obvious choose whatever value you like it's a matter of personal preference i find 80 is about fine so i can tell there is something open in the background but it's up to you and that really is all there is for today i go back to here and i've just gone through all this so let's go to the final slide and say that's it for today thanks for watching if you found it useful please Add a like, leave a comment on the video, suggest topics for future videos in the series, and please subscribe. You'll then be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Thanks again. See you soon.